New developments tonight in a Team 10 investigation into a state licensed youth home in the North County. More allegations of violent acts and Team 10 investigator Adam Rakusin first uncovered a series of disturbing events at the Circle of Friends home back in October. He is joining us now in studio and Adam Escondido's police chief is now calling on the county and the state to step in. Yeah, he and other advocates are asking that the county remove the kids from the home and the state revoke its license. So the Escondido police chief said in his department they tried to work with the leadership of the home, but that has been unsuccessful. The police chief joined advocates and former foster youth Shane Harris at a press conference this afternoon. Also there was Amanda Shane. Her son Isaiah was one of the foster kids staying at Circle of Friends. In May, Isaiah died from a drug overdose. His autopsy report said he was found unconscious in a bathroom of his group home and later died at the hospital. Harris pointed to Shane's death in what he described as a troubling pattern of incidents at the Circle of Friends home. More than 350 police calls for service to the home in the past five years. Harris called on the county to remove all kids from the home. He's also asking the county to cancel its contract with Circle of Friends and have the state revoke the nonprofit's license. Escondido Police Chief Ed Varso says in the last month, police have responded to two allegedly violent acts, including one where the resident was accused of assaulting a staff member. He says staff members have told his officers that they're afraid to work at the facility. My question is simply this for Circle of Friends operators, as well as our county and state officials. If 350 police calls for service, sexual abuse at the hands of staff, an overdose death, and a youth who was lit on fire is not enough to close down this home, then what does it take to get to that point? Our children are precious, and I miss my son every single second of the day. And late this afternoon, we reached out to Circle of Friends for a comment, but have yet to hear back. We also sent several emails to the county asking them for a comment about 20 minutes ago. We heard back from them saying that they don't have any new information to add at this point. Adam Rakusin, ABC 10 News.